I learn live to d in a single day, and you can too. Why would I want to learn live to d in 24 hours? Well, that's because the other day when I went to rig my brand new VTuber model, I opened up my live to d cubism program and saw this. So now I only have 24 hours left to rig my brand new model. But isn't live to d hard? Doesn't it take months to do a full body rig? That's why I'm paying thousands of dollars for professionals to rig my VTuber model instead, right? Well, I used to think that too until I got a message from Colossal asking if I'd like to take their live to d course for free. It's only 13 hours long in runtime being taught by Kutata, a live to d modeling professional, which means that I should be able to learn live to d in 24 hours or less. So with that being said, how hard can live to d really be? So the first thing I had to do was set up my PSD and right after watching Kudata's first video in this live 2D course, I realized that my PSD was not set up for rigging. Basically, I had to reorganize and rename my layers and do some minor cutting, but thankfully Kudata provided me with two examples for basic and advanced layer cutting for your PSD. I decided to download the basic one because I didn't want to spend too much time focusing on a highly detailed model and just getting the minimum amount done took me three hours to do so. Thankfully, my art was kind enough to send me an updated version of my PSD, which helped me work on it a lot faster. But I didn't realize how important and time consuming it is just to have to set up and cut the art properly. Like, man, this 24 hour challenge is not going as planned, and I haven't even loaded the ITD program yet. Now, you might be wondering, Mari, why is it such a big deal if you lose the pro trial of cubism? And that's because the free version of live DD cubism really limits your ability and what you can do for rigging. Besides, I've always wanted to learn live to d because you can do some really cool things with it. And I have some crazy video ideas for different types of content that would be a lot easier for me to do if I knew how to rig VTuber models, duh. Also, I had this pro trial for 42 days and I didn't do anything with it. I literally felt like I wasted a lot of time and this seems like a fun challenge to finally start learning. Now, I'm not a complete beginner for live 2 d I have attempted to learn live 2 d before, and I wasn't the happiest with the results. So this is my second time trying to actually learn the program, and I'm not going to give up this time. Once I finally got my PSD sorted and loaded everything into live 2 d it was time for me to start rigging. <laughs> Just kidding. Why would I actually do any live 2D rigging in this live 2D rigging challenge video, right? It was actually time for me to start working on my art meshes. Now, originally, I was going to auto mesh everything to save time, but after watching some of Kutata's videos, I learned some really cool techniques and shortcuts on making my own custom mesh for my model. Making my own custom mesh for certain parts was going to come in handy later on, as you'll see in the video. Plus, I don't know, there's just something therapeutic watching my VTuber get slowly swallowed into the void of just trying. Anyways, this also took longer than I was expecting because I had to take some time studying the example file and taking notes to help better understand the concept of live 2D modeling. Ugh, I know, right? Studying? I actually studied in this challenge for you? Like, yes, I did. You know, did you know that when you connect three dots, you get a triangle, the smallest geometric unit that your computer can read, and when you put them all together, you get this, and then you can do things like this? Anyways, it took me about two hours to finish this part, which means I'm already five hours into this challenge, and I haven't even started rigging my model yet. Why did I take so much time to set up everything before I actually started rigging? Well, because remember how I said... Making my own custom mess with certain parts was going to come in handy later on. Well, I realized midway through during this challenge that not preparing your model correctly can cause stuff like this to happen. That's right. Welcome to Live 2D Rigging Hell. 이 보면서 처리하기가 좋아가지고 눈 감고 뜨고 입 벌리고 닫고 그거부터 먼저 구현해 주는 게 좋습니다. 개인적으로 추천드리는 순서고요. So rigging the eyes should be the easiest, right? Well, my eye looks a lot different than his, so it took me a little longer to get my eyes to look left and right, of course. Actually, I had to look up a lot of 90s anime references to get the general aesthetics right from my model, but thanks to this cool little time-saving tip that Kutata showed me, I ended up saving a lot of time by not having to re-rig each left and right side. Now, there are some episodes I watched later on in this class that showed me more advanced techniques on rigging these elements, but I'm trying to get this done within 24 hours 
hours before my trial expires. And I wanted to get my eye and mouth rigging done as fast as possible because the next thing I had to rig that I really wasn't looking forward to were the face angles. No, how hard could that possibly be? Oh. I struggled so much on this part because I am so smooth-brained! You would think that rigging your face to look left and right would be simple, right? Wrong. It is literally the most difficult thing to rig correctly! I only have 17 hours left in this challenge. That's almost the halfway mark. And I obviously know I can't have these super cool, edgy, high-end turn angles for my model because that does take a lot of time and effort. But even just doing a simple left and right turn took me almost three hours! You know, looking at all this, I think my biggest problem that I was having during this challenge was that I'm a literal perfectionist and I keep trying to make everything look good the first time. Time. But then when I would go check out my model, it felt like I was treading into the uncanny valley. <sighs> I don't know. This took me so long and I was getting really frustrated and hungry. So I ended up taking a break to get some boba. And I watched more of Kadata's videos and took more notes. And all of a sudden, I heard him saying this. 일단은 크게 크게 먼저 작업을 해주시고 나중에 디테일을 잡아주시는 게 순서상 좋고요. At first, I didn't really understand what this meant, but as I went on throughout this challenge, I realized how much before shadowing this was because it ended up becoming the biggest lesson I learned in this entire class, which is stop being a perfectionist. Like, it's okay to want to make something look good, right? But it doesn't need to be perfect. And when I think about how much time I spent working on this part, you know, getting angry and upset at myself because I'm a complete beginner at Live 2D, it made me realize that I need to stop focusing so much on the minor details and and actually look at the bigger picture because when I exported the model just to test everything out in VTube Studio, you know, to make sure nothing was broken, the model actually looked really cool and I didn't even work on any physics for it yet. So that kind of brightened my mood a bit to want to keep going and working on this challenge to try to get some full body movements and physics done before the 24 hour mark. Also, uh, you know it's not really good to be sitting at your desk for extended periods of time, right? It can really affect your productivity and health. And I think that started happening to me because at one point, I literally just kept rewinding every couple of minutes in Kutata's video just to see how he specifically rigged certain parts. And thankfully, after so many corrections and rewatching Kutata's video over and over again, I was finally done rigging the face and stuff from my VTuber. So what's next? Finally, something that didn't take me an hour long. Honestly, the body was pretty straightforward because I didn't add a lot of movement to my body. Okay, so get this. You know how so many live duty modelers swear on Twitter that you need to separate the leg into three different parts to get nice leg movement? Well, as it turns out, you don't need to do all of that. So I just copied what Kudata's model looked like and it only took me about 30 minutes to finish making all the body movements I wanted. So now all that's left was physics. Now you can do a lot of cool things with physics, but honestly, who cares about any of that? Because we all know the most important thing that everyone cares about, and that is how boing boing your VTubers boing boings are, if you had knew what I'm saying. So if I just focus on that, then I'll get this challenge done and no, well as it turns out, you can't really do much with your VTubers booba if you don't have much booba to work with, so... I guess I'll just go work on normal physics stuff now. And at this point, after I finished some basic physics, I started getting really tired. You know, probably from all the lack of nutrition, from only consuming boba several hours ago. So I went to go make noms and ended the challenge at 13 hours because I needed my beauty sleep, as cat girls do. And the results? Well, you tell me how it looks. I did a pretty great job doing a basic rig myself within less than 24 hours. It's not the same quality as my current model, of course, but this was a really great chance for me to learn the fundamentals of Live 2D and enhance my current knowledge of the program. Now that this challenge is finally over and I had more time to finish watching and studying the rest of the class material, I can safely say that a lot of the tutorials for Live 2D that I've watched here on YouTube are kind of mid. Like, don't get me wrong, they're all made by amazing Live 2D modelers, 
but I really struggled learning Live 2D for years because every tutorial I watch either lacked consistency, proper subtitling, or they weren't very beginner friendly. Like a lot of the stuff you see here on YouTube is very nuanced and unless if you're very familiar with the program, then a lot of the things that I tried learning just didn't make sense to my smooth brain. I think learning from others is so useful for improving your own creations. However, if you're a smooth brain like me, then you probably struggle learning from others if it's not explained well enough. And I don't know, I felt like I actually learned a lot more about live 2D and making VTuber models in this 13 hour class than the last two years I spent watching YouTube tutorials. Plus, it feels kind of nice to learn from someone who's an actual professional in the field. I often find myself struggling to stay motivated starting new projects like this because I'm not a professional. Like, I don't always know where to start things. And I don't know, I just feel like I'm always getting lost with so much information being flooded into my brain. Like, my head empty, okay? So, I'm really thankful for Colossal for sponsoring today's video and letting me take this Live 2D class because now I feel a lot more confident in my abilities to take on big projects like this. I'm really proud of myself for getting this much work done on my VTuber model within 24 hours. It's now high quality, but doesn't like a little scuff in their VTuber. So if you made it this far into the video, then congrats! You get a cookie. And if you'd like to take the same class as me, then you can click on the link to the chorus down below and you can use code MARIUMA to receive $30 off of your first order. Also, even if you aren't interested in Live 2D, Colossal has a ton of other courses for all different kinds of subjects like illustration, 3D modeling, pixel art, character concept creation, you name it. I remember when I first found out about Colossal from an artist's YouTube channel named Ergo Josh, and I've tried a few of their illustration courses before, you know, unsponsored, and they were really well-made courses by very reputable artists. So of course, when Colossal asked to work with me on this project, I immediately said yes, because I knew it was going to be high quality content, and I love my content. Now, usually this would be part of the video where I would say, leave me a comment down below on any questions you might have about the course or live to D. But I actually want to answer some common questions I think some of you watching might have because some of you like to spam the exact same question over and over again and it makes me feel like I'm talking to a virtual wall. Oh wait. Are these classes a subscription? No, these are not subscription based. You purchase the entire class and receive all the video and class files associated with it. How user friendly is the interface? It's very friendly. At first, I kind of struggled to get my videos to load properly, but once I downloaded their video player software, it worked just fine to me, so I didn't have any issues using the website. And lastly, is it worth it? Well, I can't tell you if it's worth it or not, since at the end of the day, it's your money and your choice. But let me put it to you in this perspective that might help answer this question for you. You can only always make more money, but you can never make more time. Time is going to be the most valuable currency you spend in life. And do you really want to spend the precious time you have left feeling frustrated, burned out and dissatisfied with your current work? I know I didn't. And even though I got this course for free, you better believe I would have bought this the moment it went live because there is no way I would have gotten this challenge completed just by sifting through YouTube videos, hoping to find the right tutorial. Like, look at this. I actually did it. I completed the challenge. I really didn't think I was going to be able to do it. But this class really helped me a lot in understanding the concept of Live 2D and why certain techniques work well with VTuber models. And like I said, if you'd like to take the same class as me, then you can click on the link to the chorus down below and you can use code MARIUMA to receive $30 off of your first class. And with that, I'd like to say once again, thank you to Colossal for sponsoring today's video. And if you like these kind of Live 2D rigging challenge videos, then I don't know, subscribe or something, baka. Thanks for watching and feel free to check out my other VTubing videos on my channel. Oh yeah, Sumini.